<laughs> Hi. So I've always wanted to make this back wall of the shop just be lots and lots of storage. So I thought I'd start by building some more shelves to hang on, on this back wall. And I thought I'd do the same kinds of shelves that I've done in the rest of the shop. So it's just a simple box with shelves in it and it hangs on the French cleat that I have running around the shop. So the, the construction is basically two sides with dados and then four shelves that fit between those dados. So it's, it's really simple. And then on the, the back of that is a back that holds it square and then a cleat along the top that, that it can hang on and then a spacer piece on the bottom. Now it seems with most shelf projects, I start by cutting sheets of plywood into strips. So that's what I'm doing. I thought because these shelves were high up on the wall that maybe I would make them deeper, but I ended up deciding to go with a 12 inch width, which is what I've done in the past for the shelves in the shop. And then I can cut the strips to the lengths that I need. And I need two different lengths. I need three foot pieces for the sides and two foot pieces for the top and bottom and the shelves. The shelves and the tops and bottoms will all be the same. And then I could put my dado set on the radial arm saw. And doing the dados this way makes them go really quickly. So I could put a stop in place so I could do the two ends and then I set the stop up so that I could do the two middle shelves by doing one and then flipping the piece around and doing the other and having them evenly spaced. Then putting them together was straightforward. I could just put glue in the dados, attach the shelves at the dados along the sides with nails. Now the bottom piece is gonna be a little bit weaker than the shelves in the middle, as there isn't a lower edge of the dado to hold the bottom piece up. But I've done it this way on the other shelves in the shop and it's been okay. To hold the whole piece rigid, I can put a thin piece of plywood on the back with glue and staples. And in doing this, I'll do one edge and then I'll square up the frame to the back when I do the second edge. Once the two edges are put together, it's square, and I can do the rest of the staples. And then once the glue is set up, I can trim the edges of the back, which will make everything flush. And I need to put the cleat on the back. And what's important here is to attach the cleat with screws through the back into the frame, because the cleat's what's gonna be taking all the weight. So it can't just be attached to the thin piece of plywood on the back. It needs to go all the way through into the frame. And then there needs to be a little spacer piece on the bottom so that the cabinet hangs vertically on the wall. And that doesn't have to be attached all that well. And I needed to add a little bit more to my cleat system on this wall. And then the shelves could go up. And they were heavier than I thought they were going to be. It was harder lifting them into place than I thought it was going to be. But they're still movable. I had found sort of scrap pieces of quarter inch plywood for the back. So I found two lighter pieces and two darker pieces. But I think that's okay. Now I've got all these bowls that have been sitting around the base of the two drill presses in the way. And I'm constantly tripping over them. And I really want to get them out of the way. So that's what's going on these shelves for now anyways. These are all ready to be turned a second time and finished. So with them up on the wall where I can see them, maybe I'll get to them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.